I'm Chanel Greco from Sub Paris, and in this video, I will show you the new and improved Google Slides Presenter Toolbar. So the presenter toolbar that we used and we had available up until about March of 2021 always somehow got in the way, was distracting for the presenter itself or also for the participants in the meetings. And that's also why Google said that they updated, then they improved the toolbar. How do we actually now see this new updated presenter toolbar? Well, I simply move my mouse down to the bottom here, to the bottom left, and we see this nice minimalistic design. As I move my mouse on top of it, we see uh, how the different um, buttons uh, become more prominent. Uh, I can change my slides like so. I can also jump or skip, no, jump to another slide by clicking on the number here. We see at the moment we have two slides. By the way, the name of the slide, that is derived from the title of the slide itself. Okay, then the three dots standing for more options. I can I can um, display my speaker notes. I'm clicking on it. It's um, it's activating it off screen, so I'm just dragging it in. Here is a presenter view. By the way, if you want a detailed video on how to use a presenter view, let me know in the comment section below. Drag that out again. Then let's click on more options again. There you go. Uh, the laser. The laser pointer is something I actually always have active when I'm presenting. I give a lot of um, training sessions um, through Google Meet, and I, when I want to have my, you know, my participants focus on something, I always use the laser pointer. We could enter the full screen mode here by clicking on it and we could stop presenting. So at the moment I'm in the presentation mode. If I click on it, then that will stop that mode. Let's start it again. Then we have our autoplay. This is interesting um, for, let's say, if you're at an exhibition, you might have a stand or a booth and um, there's a screen and you would like your presentation to continuously loop, to continuously display, and every couple of seconds change the slide, well, then autoplay is the thing you would use for that. Then the captions, um, this is something that you can turn on. Let's try it out. These are captions in Google Slides. I think you get the point. Uh, you could opt in using that and uh, changing the position and the size if you wanted to. Then let's click on more and more. So kind of next, next step more uh, Q and A. So if I hit on that, it's going to trigger my audience tools here. Again, if you want a detailed video on speaker notes, and I think I would make a joint video also on audio tools then just let me know in the comments section below. Let's click on more options again and then on more. Oops, move the mouse away from the interface. I could download this specific slide deck as a PDF document or as a PowerPoint. I could print it, um, access to keyboard shortcuts, uh, report of user copyright, which I'm not going to do because it's my presentation. Um, but uh, the keyboard shortcuts might be interesting. Um, I don't know if you've noticed this, but almost all of the Google Apps Script apps have quite an extensive list of keyboard shortcuts, which you usually can access through help and then keyboard shortcuts. So if you're big on keyboard shortcuts, then there you go. I personally really like this improved presenter toolbar, and I think it's much less distracting compared to the old version. Do you agree? If so, let me know in the comments section below. And would you mind subscribing to this YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below? Because every week I publish new video tutorials about Google Slides and the other apps that are part of Google Workspace, and I don't want you to miss out on any of that information.